Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to download original Windows 7 and create a bootable USB. Surprisingly, some people are still using the Windows 7 operating system and it is their favorite operating system. Today, we are going to be looking at how to download Windows 7 ISO safely and create a bootable USB. As most of you are aware that, Microsoft has removed all official download links for the Windows 7 ISO file, so you can no longer download it directly from their website. I would not recommend downloading Windows 7 ISO images file from Torrent, especially if you are going to be using your PC for business, internet banking. Otherwise, this malicious software can then steal important information. Let's get started. First of all, you will need a minimum of a 16GB USB, so please make sure there is no essential data on it. Now, insert the USB into the computer, then proceed to the next step. Go ahead and open your Google Chrome browser and type dell.com. From the search result, make sure select dell.com, not any other website. Since I am in the United States, it shows Dell USA. Click on it to open the website. Now, when you arrive at the Dell website, here I'm going to show you how to download Windows 7, which can run on any computer. It may be a different brand or unbranded, don't worry about that. Go to support and then click on support home. After clicking on support home, in the search bar, type in OS ISO and hit the enter button. Here you will find different Dell Windows recovery images. Now I am going to search for IDW732 to download Windows 7 ISO image file. Click on show more. Here you can find the IDW732. That's the ID we are looking for. Now click on this one to download Windows 7 OS recovery tool. If you couldn't find the link, you can find it below in the description. So please go ahead and click on download OS recovery tool. After downloading the OS recovery tool, open it. You can see this is the Dell USB recovery tool, application F7, and make sure you have version 2.3. If you have other than this version, maybe it does not work for us. So try and get that particular version. After that, go ahead and install it. Double click to install. You will see service tag is a seven digit alphanumeric. Click OK. Now here, you will see another computer option. Enter service tag DWK6PS1 and click search option. After getting the required service tag, click next. Here, you will see Windows 7, service pack 1 professional 64-bit and the download file size. Click to start the download. Here you will find the USB drive which we inserted earlier. Check the box. I understand that the selected drive will be reformatted. Finally click to download. Now downloading will start and also save OS image for recovery on the USB. It will take half an hour to copy the Windows 7 OS to the USB drive. After downloading, verify the image and extract the ISO file. Now click to finish and close the OS recovery tool window. Go ahead and click on this PC. Here, you can see the USB drive. Click to open it and you will see the Windows 7 image file. Next, you will need to create a bootable USB drive for Windows 7. First, Create a folder on the desktop, name it Windows 7, and copy the files to this folder. After copying the Windows 7 ISO image, the USB drive will be free for use as a bootable drive. In the next step, you need to download Rufus from its official website, rufus.ie. It is free to download. Once you are in, Scroll down and search for Rufus 4.4 and click to download and install it. The link will be available in the description. By double clicking, open the Rufus. It's a lightweight utility that helps us create bootable USB drives. Next, plug in your USB drive to your computer 
and ensure that Rufus detects it. Now, click on Select and navigate to the Windows 7 ISO file which you have copied to this PC. Make sure to select the correct ISO file. Once you've selected the ISO file, Rufus will automatically populate some of the fields based on the ISO information. Now, you'll want to customize a few settings. Now, under the partition scheme, we'll automatically select MBR. Target system should display BIOS or UFI CSM. After setting these configurations, you can optionally change the volume label if you wish. You can leave the file system, NTFS and cluster size as default. Remember, these settings might vary depending on your system configuration. Double check everything to ensure all settings are correct before proceeding. After that click start to begin creating the bootable USB drive. Rufus will warn you that all data on the USB will be erased. If you are okay with that, then click OK. The time it takes to create the bootable USB drive will depend on your system speed and the size of the ISO file. Once it's done, you'll see a ready status on Rufus. Now you've successfully created a Windows 7 bootable USB drive using Rufus. Now you can use this USB to install Windows 7 on your system. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. I hope this guide was helpful to you. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.